Hi guys. Lake here today, Lily's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Tinicomo. It is the 29th of March. It is Friday and probably roughly about 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna do the one cast for you uh, today. Actually, gonna try this jig up a little bit. But I've got the 125th ounce jig. And we are up here in the trophy area, just below the golf course. If you guys ever want to know how to trim a jig properly, do not cut it. Take it to the end and pinch your feathers off. It'll still give it that natural look that you're going for. I think that's about the length I want. I'm going to start off trying to jig this jig normally however we are having some pretty good wind gusts now so I might have to put it under an indicator if I don't feel like I'm getting it down near the bottom where I want to be at And now the wind's laying off, allow me to, oh, miss you. Oh. I got a fish on the first pass. He'll come back for it. This is a Sculpin and Ginger jig with a brown head, 25th ounce. Yeah, I'm free jigging right now because it wasn't windy, but I might wind up putting it under an indicator. Come on, buddy. Come on. He's not holding on to that hook very good. I didn't, didn't think he was, maybe he is. So out there in that depth, I'm letting it sink for you know, between seven, uh, roughly about seven seconds on average. Just straighten out some of my slack, try to keep some of that line out of the wind, give it a good time to sink. Start the retreat. Thank you. 
something I'm doing right now with the wind blowing like it is, and it may be hard to catch on to at first. So obviously I get my slack straight and I lay my rod tip real close to the water so it gives that jig time to sink. We're gonna wait that six or seven seconds. And then what I'm doing is I'm popping it up and then I'm bringing all my slack down on the water and doing my kind of one and a half reels and then jerking again. And that's keeping the jig down near the bottom. However, what it doesn't do is allow you to see the line when you have a bite. So. Oh, but if we keep the line up in the air where we can see it, it's going to get blown by the wind and keep the jig from sinking. They pretty much got the 40 megawatts going all day. They did crank it up to 80 and then 90 for one hour, and then the next hour was 90, and then we're back to the 40 flow now. Heard lots of guys talking about how the bite really died off. Oh, there's one. When they slowed the water back down to 40. This is what I like to go to when they do do that. Free jigging if the wind's going to allow it, but like this type of wind right here, almost impossible. This is the gust that's blowing through at the moment. It's a little bit healthier one. I'm even going to try to cast upstream a little bit just to sort of prevent that wind. Anytime you cast upstream, the current is going to help push your jig downstream quicker or down to the bottom quicker. We are getting closer to the narrow, so I don't have to worry about. Letting it sink for as long. There's another one. All kinds of little tricks depending on what your conditions are. There's one. <coughs> that you can do to help keep the jig where it needs to be. Some of 
those methods just take a little bit of practice. <laughs> if you feel like you're not getting to the bottom, you can also kind of extend the time that you, in between your jigging motions. Like on that wind gust, I'm definitely holding it for probably an extra second before each jig. They're definitely after a jig. Obviously, I didn't put an indicator on here today. I did bring one with me, but I think that if you could get the right depth in the right area, that under the indicator might be better with this much wind. At least easier to control. You don't have to do all the tricks that I'm using to get this jig down. Gosh, I'm getting so many bites. Getting so few of them. Thank you. 
flip to the other side here. Hey guys, the, the channel is right here. Yeah. Okay. That's why I just kind of waiting on it a little bit. You're good. Thank you. No, I'm really not going to be able to see my line. Now I'm facing the glare side of the water here. Oh, he was on there. about four to five feet deep out there so we don't have to wait too terribly long to get going here. Go ahead and call it. Last cast. It's been a good day of jig fishing. Despite the wind. Oh, and he was on there. I don't know if I can call that my last cast. There we go. guys for watching today. Like and share us on Facebook and we'll be back out again tomorrow.